I grew up in a country that doesn't exist anymore. Um, today it's called Croatia. Back then it was part of Yugoslavia. Well, my early childhood was very idyllic. It was interrupted by the turmoil and civil war in the Balkans, specifically remembering that summer of 1991, we were just visiting friends on the seashore and the news broke out of the barricades and the beginning of the conflict. And essentially we were under siege and I just remember coming of age and contrast between being trapped, uh, unable to really leave, and on the other side, the tranquility, the peace, the calm of the sea. And uh, spending those days on a beach or on the cliffs, looking out at the sea and thinking of the whole world out there, yet unable to leave this small town, it made me really feel like I was not alone, that even though this conflict was raging, that there was hope. You know, there was a whole world out there and that one way or the other, things would be okay in the end. And as I finished my graduate studies, I bought myself a gift of access to the sailing club and that was an opportunity to reconnect with the sea. I spent some time cruising throughout the Caribbean, getting to know people, these uh, coastal communities and, and making some very dear friends. I was deeply affected by hurricanes that had impacted them, specifically Irma and Maria. They lost their homes, their businesses, their boats, everything that they had. And so I was trying to send them some care packages of things that they told me was much needed. And that made me really realize how inadequate that was and how little only one person could do. And that was the time when I met uh, Mark Drulo and founder of Yari Global. And when I was asking what else could we do, to help out. He shared about Yachting Global and the yachting community participating in efforts like this. Within two weeks, we had over 100 super yachts reaching out from across Europe, North America, even South Pacific, who would be arriving to Caribbean saying, what can be done? What can they do? And that made me really realize that more intentional and strategic engagement will be needed. Yachty Global was started as a disaster relief organization where the yachts found themselves amidst a, a disaster struck area and wanted to help. And so there was yeah, the beginnings of the organization. We still do some of that uh, type of work. However, the mission has expanded uh, and includes now a number of humanitarian and conservation initiatives. On the humanitarian front, uh, we do clean water access across remote communities. Um, more than two billion people in the world today still lack access to clean water, and that includes some of these remote communities. Also, build back better programs as part of recovery and rebuilding, working with the communities to support them on building more hurricane resilient structures and thus being able to withstand future weather events. And also, as part of that, we are now really uh, focusing on more climate change adaptation, doing full reallocations of some of the communities because of the rising sea levels and thus being able to be there for them, with them, so they can be maintaining, sustaining their way of life. Educational programs that are focused on providing learning, teaching supplies for schools, expanding schools, adding classrooms, libraries, uh, both from supplies as well as opening up uh, some new libraries. Yachty Global has, from the beginning, now more than 17 years ago, been a super yacht community organization. We exist because the community wants us to exist, needs us to exist, and we could never do what we do without the direct participation and support from the community. I think super yachts do a lot of good, and it doesn't really get as much coverage as other typical news and media does. However, a number of our initiatives also are done discreetly on anonymous basis and not getting media coverage because of the desire to really do good and not necessarily to, to be getting any public recognition for it. Yare Global is not just a group of 10 people sitting in the office doing the work, uh, rather we are a community organization including thousands of crew working across 300 yachts over the uh, years and all of our initiatives are very participative uh, in that nature with a uh, global participation and, and local support.